Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum dear viewers I hope you will be fine As you know that I have studied a series of lectures related to the environmental science topics This is the my fourth lecture uh, in that series I hope you will find this topic an informative and valuable for you I will say if you think this is valuable for you please don't forget to subscribe my channel and must press the bell icon thank you very much so now come to the topic if you remember in the last chap in the last lecture i have told you about some types of multilateral environmental agreements today's topic is the one of the multilateral environmental agreements that is the united nations convention on biological diversity it is also called convention on biological diversity so in this topic i will discuss you some basic information about the united nations convention on biological diversity what is biological diversity and why this convention was carried out and some of the goals of uh, this convention and some provisions that are in this convention okay let's start as you know that the name indicates biological diversity biological diversity indicates the genetic differences within each species each species for example between variety of crops and breeds of livestock if we take another aspect of biodiversity it is the variety of ecosystems such as such as that occur in deserts forests wetlands mountains lakes rivers and agriculture landscape landscapes etc and each ecosystem supports a living community of creatures we all know that they support us they support the human being a lot including we the human beings interacting with one another and with the air water and soil around them so why this convention was carried out because this has very much significance with respect to the human being the biological diversity if loss of biodiversity occur it will it will reduce the productivity of ecosystem okay thereby shrinking nature's basket of goods and services from which we are constantly draw we draw different kind of services from Mm, these biological resources so if if it will reduce it will impact negatively on the human beings it also destabilizes ecosystem as well and weaken their ability to deal with natural disasters as we already facing a lot of different impacts from loss of biodiversity in the form of large droughts different kind of disasters in the world you know climate change through floods droughts and hurricanes hurricanes and with response to human they cause stresses like pollution and climate change already we are spending a huge sum in response in response to floods different kind of deserts storm storm damage etc so such damage is expected to increase as a result of global warming so these are some of the reasons that this convention was carried out to reduce all these we have to protect we have to conserve the natural biodiversity okay now we come to the goals of this convention some of the objectives of this convention actually this convention on biological diversity is related to the conservation of biological diversity 
this is the first goal of this convention another one is the sustainable use of biodiversity components as you know that we are benefiting a lot from biological diversity around the globe so sustainable use is necessary compulsory important fair and equitable sharing of benefits or of the over out of the utilization of genetic resources we are also benefiting a lot from genetic resources from their biological diversity so fair and equitable sharing benefits is also necessary okay this was the sum of the goals of this convention now we talk about some historical development that when this convention was carried out how many countries have signed this convention from which date it was effective how many countries are signatory and parties etc i will say here this is very important related to the different kind of test preparation okay so you must remind these kind of dates that when this convention was signed in which city of this convention was carried out from which date it was effective how many countries or signatory etc etc so in case of this convention this was signed on 5th june 1992 at a city of brazil that is called janeiro rio de janeiro brazil there it was signed and it was effective from december 29th 1993 and 168 countries have signed this convention and 196 countries of parties of this convention okay now we take with respect to the pakistan pakistan have signed this convention on 1992 june 1992 and adopted this convention on june 1992 okay and pakistan has ratified this on july 26 1994 this is very important with respect to pakistan okay pakistan have signed this convention and ratified this is also very important with respect to the different kind of tests okay now we will discuss some key provisions in this convention number 1 is the implementation at national level should be done through different kind of natural biodiversity strategies and action plans this is very important all nation around the world need to develop such kind of strategies and action plans to conserve to protect the natural biodiversity okay and this is principal instrument of implementation under article 6 of this multilateral environmental agreements in article 6 this principal instrument uh, instrument of implementation was given that every country should develop some national biodiversity strategies and action plans to conserve the national biodiversity in a better way okay so this is all about the convention on biological diversity we have discussed some basic information some goals and some provisions that have been given in this convention I hope you will find this will you will find this video a fruitful for you if you think this is valuable for you you must like you must subscribe my channel and press the bell icon thank you for watching